Um, Cancorla, I think um, I think everybody was shocked uh, during the week at the um, death of uh, Mr. Paddy Barry, an elderly pensioner in Waterford, following a burglary in his home. And um, I, I think we'd all wish to sympathise with his family and out of respect for them. And indeed, because I understand that there's a, a um, file being sent to the DPP, I don't want to focus on that individual case. But uh, it does, I think, bring into focus the fear and apprehension that many elderly people, particularly those who are living alone, uh, fear uh, in the face of uh, the kind of antisocial behaviour, um, out of control uh, groups of youths and um, criminal activity. Uh, the fear that many people feel uh, in their own homes and in their communities. And I think that that fear would have been added to during the week by reports that one in seven of the prison population uh, are now out on temporary release. Uh, 600 prisoners uh, who have been sentenced to, sentenced to various terms of imprisonment um, and who are now out and about, largely because I think the government has made a mess of uh, the provision of prison places. And in that context, I recall uh, in my own constituency uh, the closure about five years ago of Shangana Prison uh, was a facility for uh, young male offenders. It was closed down by the government. Um, I would ask the government to reopen it again, but it can't because it has sold the prison to a developer. Now, we all know, we all know that one of the... What we all know, we all know, and I think it was reflected in the, I think it was reflected in the primetime program last night, that one of the measures, one of the things that can reduce fear for people uh, who are living alone, particularly elderly people, is a visible presence of Gardaí, particularly in their local, in their local community. Now, Tanish, there's a recommendation in the McCarthy report which recommends the closure of half of the Garda stations in the country. Closure of about 350 small Garda stations. I understand that there's 22 of them uh, in your own county. And I want to ask you just one simple question uh, this morning, which I think might go some way towards um, alleviating the kind of fear that people, people have. Will you give the House an assurance that those 350 Garda stations will not be closed that that recommendation uh, is uh, rejected and that there will not be closure of the small Garda stations throughout the country. Well, Ken Corla, my, my question was specifically in relation to the, uh, to the Garda stations and uh, I note that the Tánaiste is not giving any assurance to the House that those Garda stations will not be closed. Now, can I ask her again? Uh, there was a programme on prime time last night um, it, I think, showed the degree to which uh, people are very apprehensive throughout the country. This is a problem of fear. People are afraid. And one of the things that would alleviate the fear is an assurance from the government that their local Garda station is not going to be closed down. Now, there's a recommendation saying that the Garda stations, that these small Garda stations in villages, local areas, local communities throughout the country, that they're going to be closed down. Now, I think, Tonishta, that you should categorically rule out the closure of those guard stations. And the Minister for Justice is providing you, I think, now with the prompt for you to do so. I mean, what sense, can I ask you this? What sense, I appreciate that there's a financial difficulty and so on, but where is the sense in closing 350 guard stations to make a saving of 1 million euro? You could save 1 million euro by abolishing, by abolishing two, two ministers of state and leave the 350 Garda stations that would provide a far greater comfort for people who are fearful in their homes than their presence of, uh, of, of two additional ministers of state. Um, this recommendation, Thonisha, doesn't make any sense. It's nonsense. Uh, the presence of Garda in local communities, everybody knows it. it it contributes to the prevention of crime, uh, it reassures people, it's a visible presence by the guard, by the guard. They, it doesn't make sense 
to close all of these Garda stations, particularly when the savings uh, is so small. Now, this is something, this isn't, I appreciate, and I, you know, if this was a big question about some of the big recommendations in McCarthy, I could understand you giving the kind of answer that you've given, that the government is reflecting on it and it hasn't yet made a decision and so on. This is one that you can put to bed now. Reassure people that the local Garda stations will not be closed, that they will stay in place, and that you'll find the million savings from uh, elsewhere in the, uh, in the state's budget.